guys welcome to online web tutor i am sanjay we are learning laravel 8 framework tutorial this is our part number 70 inside this video we will continue crud application and inside this last video of crud application we will continue the delete operation so if i back to browser now inside last videos we have completed add operation list operation as well as edit operation now the last operation we have called the delete button functionality. So if I back to terminal, close this development server and if I type the command called php artition route list, so this command will give all application routes. So here we can see that and also in the last video we had discussed that for the delete operation we will call device.destroy but this route should be called using delete request type so it means again we need to use method spoofing concept and we need to change dynamically at runtime our request type let's start development server start it back to editor and if i go inside resources views crud and this is all about our list page so inside this listing page we have the delete button so what i will do first of all we need to convert this anchor tag to button let's say button or simply what i will do if we want to keep it as anchor tag so inside href it is hash symbol and let's say that we are going to bind with on click event listener so i will put if confirm first of all i will take the user confirmation before delete so are you sure want to delete question mark and because we are using double quotes outside of this if so we need to use single quotes inside that if suppose the user has pressed ok button then inside this block we are going to submit a form so first of all we need to create a form here so let's say form inside this action we will put our destroy route so let's say route and inside this back to terminal and this is our delete request type so we will use delete.destroy this is our named route and also we need to pass the dynamic device id so go here this is all about device destroy and we are getting our device id inside this item variable we have discussed earlier inside this playlist and by the help of this id column we are getting our device id and also let's say method equal to post go inside this form as we are submitting a form so we need a csrf value so this is csrf and also we want to change our dynamic request type so from post we want delete request type so we need to use called method inside this we need to pass delete so if we need to save or let's say save all these changes go and reload this page now if we inspect this delete button so here as we can see that we have an anchor tag on click event listener this is just for confirmation and inside this form tag we have now a csrf token and a input type hidden field so by the help of this method we will process our request using delete request type now if we go to this layout click on delete button as we can see that we have a pop-up this is javascript confirmation box which is taking are you sure want to delete if we click on ok button then at that time we need to submit our form so click on delete back to editor and let's say that this is a form so first of all what i will do to to submit this form on the behalf of click event of that respective row we need to make an id let's say frm delete data and hyphen here inside this we need to generate the dynamic device id so let's say item and id so when we click on this confirmation OK button, it means the true value has been returned. So after inside this block, what I will do, let's say dollar sign, 
single quotes putting hash symbol this is our form ID means what we have written here and we are going to submit that so if we save all these changes go and reload this page when we click on delete button so it is calling the form tag of that respective row because in each row we have a different form because we have generated each form on the behalf of this form ID and this form ID contains the device ID frm delete data 1 if we click on this fourth number row frm delete data hyphen 4 it means when we click on this delete button then it will it will call on the behalf of this ID what we have passed inside this click event and inside this as we can see the ID of fourth form so back to editor now let's say form has been submitted the delete operation we need to handle from controller and from this route list the destroy will call the destroy method of device controller so back to editor app http controllers device controller go inside destroy method so here inside this method we have a device instance of device model so simply delete it's not delete it's device instance and we are going to call delete method and finally we to return let's return redirect we are going to use let's say 2 or instead of 2 we are going to use route method and inside this we need to return over let's say list devices page so device dot index and also we want to set a flash message so as we have discussed inside this playlist that there are several ways to set a flash message and send back to a view file so here we are discussing something new that is we are redirecting to our listing page by using a flash message and the flash message we are going to apply with the help of this with method so let's say success device has been deleted successfully so if we save all these changes go and reload this page so let's say that we are going to click on this device 3 when we click on this device 3 click event will work and it is going to submit this form and this submit will hit the destroy method of device controller and the device will be deleted it will redirect on the listing page with our success message so go and click on this button delete ok and as we can see that device has been deleted successfully and that row has been deleted from our table as well as from this list again when we click on this first ID delete ok the row has been deleted so successfully guys we have completed the CRUD functionality by taking an example of device inside and also we understood about the resource controller concept as well as method spoofing so from the next video we will discuss some more different concept so for this video session guys thank you for watching and have a great day